Hey guys, what's up? This is daily news analysis of 30th of December guys. Let's see the very first news. First news is about World Health Organization. You know, they are going to recognize gaming disorder as a mental health condition in 2018. And for this guys, the international classification of disease draft has already been published by World Health Organization. Now, let's see that what is the definition of this uh, disorder according to, uh, you know, World Health Organization. World Health Organization defines disorder as persistent or recurrent behavior pattern of sufficient severity to result in significant impairment of areas of functioning like personal areas family and a social uh, educational occupational and other important areas of functioning whatever you know uh, I mean the area of functioning which has been done by normal human beings right now the disorder is characterized by impaired control with increasing priority given to gaming i mean whatever be the situation even if the uh, you know the victim knows that what are the repercussions of gaming what are the repercussions of playing games on you know your mental health your physical health the, but then also they will you know play games all right so that's why this is indeed a very serious concern because if you will see the normal data and statistics also guys so you'll realize that you know the gaming industries in india and in, all over the world is playing day by day i mean it's increasing day by day right so it is indeed a very uh, cautious situ situation that's why the world health organization has come up with these guidelines and uh, icd let's see a bit about that world what is world health organization's international classification of disease so under this international classification of disease, Disease, guys the international standard is set for various disease and health condition and as well as they does the identification of health trends and statistics they collect it from the all over the world right and it is used uh, again by the medical practitioners in order to set you know certain limits a certain upper limits that what are the limits under which you know a patient of a certain country will be recognized as a uh, you know victim of that particular disease right so i mean it is indeed i mean it will it is it helps the medical practitioners around the world to identify that also also the world health organization's uh, international classification of disease in uh, encompasses both the mental as well as physical disorder right and these are few of the you know objective type of question which can directly be made in you know prelims of your ups examinations so just remember all these things next news is about trafficking of persons prevention protection and rehabilitation bill 2017 now this bill has been initiated by the Ministry of Women and Child Development and uh, it is being said under this bill that there is severe punishment being given to the people who are, you know, uh, directly or indirectly, I mean, who are directly involved in these kind of heinous crimes. Now, this bill defines different forms of tra uh, trafficking and they are bonded labor, sexual exploitation, pornography, removal of organs as well as begging, as well as that the situations when some of the, of the traffickers, what they do is like they just tell the uh, girls or women that will just take you to the other place and they will give you a job but in the name of job they you know what they does is they traffic those girls and you know and involve them in flesh trade which is also known as prostitution right so these kind of very you know heinous crimes if any uh, people are found to you know doing these kind of heinous crimes then they will be given uh, uh, you know punishment and now what are those punishment guys the punishment is around uh, of uh, one lakh they have to give five then 10 lakh 10 years imprisonment uh, provision of is there and also the imprisonment could be extended to life imprisonment right now it uh, under this bill there has also been the formation of national anti-trafficking bureau which has been interested in or uh, i mean what which has been interested to the work of controlling and tackling the meanness of all the kinds of you know all the different forms of traffic which has been mentioned in this bill right also they will uh, coordinate monitor and surveillance the illegal movement of the persons and uh, pr and prevent them right now the bill also state that they will form state level anti-trafficking officers who will ultimately provide the relief and rehabilitation schemes to uh, with the help of district units and other civil or service or, i mean civil society organizations right so these are all what the things are being uh, you know under this bill right next news is about protection uh, of majuri land i'll first show you the location of majuri land guys see this is the location of majuri land in the river stretches of uh, brahmaputra in india all right and it is found in of course assam so it has been last year only it has been declared as the first island district of indian country just remember it and also it is the world's largest river island all right 
Now, why this was a news about protection of Majuli Island? Because a new scheme has been formed to, you know, save this Majuli Island from flood and erosion. And it's not that that earlier there was no sort of schemes or no sort of government measures to protect this island. Yes, earlier there was also schemes, but uh, the construction or the infrastructural activities to protect this Majuli Island has been done many f around 50 years ago and around in 1960s that has been done, right? So, but that the infrastructure has eroded away, all right, and still it has been seen that the erosion activities and uh, the Majuli Island is directly affected from flood, right? So that's why the government has sanctioned uh, that uh, okay, we'll just carry out the uh, you know development project of this Majuli Island so that it could be prevented from flood and erosions. And under this, the funding will be done by the Ministry of Donor. All right, and uh, whatever the uh, you know uh, plan will be made, everything will be made by the Brahmaputra board, which will be taking the suggestions on from the government of India's high level expert committee. Right now, this was all about the Smajuli Island uh, issue, guys. Next news is about regional project to tackle stubble burning. Now, what is stubble burning? I'll tell you. Say, for example, I'm farmer, right? I have grown a crop and I've taken the uh, the you know actual uh, commercialized crop which I needed, right? Now, the left part thing i what i do is i'll just burn all these left part of uh, you know left residues now those residues burning of those residues of crops are known as stubble burning all right and for the and uh, the this is a very major cause in india because due to stubble burning in uh, uh, winter days what happens is uh, the smoke created from stubble burning and the fog right so both the uh, thing just patch up and resulted in the forms of you know smog which contains uh, you know particulate material 2.5 then particulate material uh, 10 right which are indeed very harmful for children's to uh, you know inhale because if the children's inhale those uh, particulate material particle then they might face you know some sort of uh, health uh, issues right respiratory disease issues so that's why taking all the concerns of this stubble burning the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change has come up with a regional project which is called a Crop Residue Management Project basically and which will be done under NAPCC that is NAFC sorry now that is National Adaptation Fund for Climate Change that was a slip of tongue anyways next okay we'll read about this National Adaptation Fund also in the next slide but let's see about this regional project guys so this regional project will be phased pan india but it will be uh, you know implemented phase by phase on the first phase it will be implemented on the regions like punjab haryana uttar pradesh and rajasthan and it is mainly aims to mitigate the climate change impacts and enhance the adaptability capacity of these farmers also so that uh, the farmers could also you know uh, make themselves aware and also since the capacity building is done by the government to this uh, farmers and you know different industries in order to take care of these all stubbles part who and uh, just make sure that these are not burnt in atmosphere all right and atmosphere don't get polluted much and uh, under this i mean in this article it was also written about te uh, technological interventions which will be done or uh, which will be undertaken for time management of crop residues in addition to effective utilization of existing machineries all right so this was about this news and Regarding National Adaptation Fund for Climate Change, guys, it was established in August 2015 to meet the cost of adaptation to climate change for the state and union territories of India, right? And the prioritization will be given to those projects which has been recommended by State Action Plan on Climate Change. And NABARTH is uh, designated as the National Implementation Agency under the Kyoto Protocol of National Adaptation Fund for Climate Change, right? Next news is about garbage emergency. Actually, Bali has been declared as a uh, garbage emergency because uh, there is, I, I mean, around the sea uh, nearby Bali, it was being observed that, uh, you know, many waste materials has, you know, uh, many waste materials have uh, accumulated in a certain place, right? basically the western coast of this island so basically the indonesian island of bali i mean the capital of indonesia it is jakarta right but uh, yeah the indonesian island of bali recently declared as garbage emergency in response to the overwhelming amount of plastic waste and i have already told you that it uh, it has been plastic waste has been found in the western coast of this island and there was around 3.6 mile stretch of uh, uh, this uh, plastic island right 
and which uh, and uh, taking uh, this, this condition the administration of uh, indonesia has uh, declared an emergency zone and also uh, it was be, i mean the take action has been taken by the indonesian government because uh, it would have otherwise you know harm the tourist trade which is being taking place in the uh, you know island countries of indonesia because tourist is the one thing through which indonesia earns a lot right so it is indeed been uh, i mean important for the government to take actions right as you can see in this uh, page also guys there is a huge dump and garbage of these plastic materials and all right and indonesia is the world's second largest contributor of these all wastes of uh, marine and uh, which is followed by china i mean china generates the most and which is followed by indonesia right next news is about india is yet to find a reason for darknings of siang now guys what is siang i'll tell you you know brahmaputra river right so brahmaputra river originates from tibet from tibet to when it travels the whole stretch of china it is known as shangpo river that is t s a n g p o all right as it enters india that is uh, uh, when the it passes from arunachal pradesh then it is known as shang river and when it enters uh, uh, assam all right and enters bangladesh up till that it is known as brahmaputra right now Siang river has been uh, before few days it has been found darkening it has got darkened as you can see here the in first before picture and this is afterward picture in which you know the dark nature of the siang river has been found now many uh, analysts have analyzed that okay just because of china is constructing tunnel so that might be the reason you know uh, that china is constructing tunnel to uh, divert the water of river brahmaputra to their own region so i mean that this is the, the allegations from the indian side to the chinese side but chinese side have totally said that no allegations are totally baseless and we are not constructing any sort of underground tunnels right but uh, this is the natural phenomena and we 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 don't know what has what is the reason behind it right but uh, that's i mean the news is that that the still has there is no reason has there is no concrete proof or the reason has been found by the indian side but i just want to i just wanted to i mean uh, i've delivered this news because this this news is about siang river now and you might get confused that what is siang river what is brahmaputra river what is shangpo river so just to make clarify you that and moreover we have talked a bit about that discussions also that what is the issue basically going on why it is a news so yeah that was all about it next is news about e catalog guys so it is basically an easy one stop access in order to establish contact for the supply of engineering projects all right up till now in india the engineering products were not getting any particular platform any not getting any push by the government but from after coming of this e catalog it is being said that they will be getting pushed and it is being uh, constructed under the aegis of engineering export promotion council of india which is the apex body of engineering exporter from india all right and it is said that it will i mean the formation of this e catalog will uh, stand as pivotal for the brand india engineering initiative and it has the potential to make india a leading manufacturer suppliers right now what are the objectives of this uh, guys the main objective is to overcome the major hurdle for indian exporters in global quality engineering markets in by enhancing their cap, uh, credibility and providing an easy one stop access to establish contact for supply of engineering products so that our engineering products products could you know uh, capture the world market right so it is indeed a very i mean good step by the government but let's see what happens next so guys this was all about the today's news we will meet in next class till then bye bye take care and uh, do whatever you want to do man just don't trouble your mother